Cindy out of here with my Arts Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. We are going to do a couple more puzzle pieces today. Um, I might do... Let's see if I can do three. How about that? All right, so let's start out with the first one. Those are the three puzzle pieces. We're going to just mix these up real quick. Whoops. So, what have you guys been up to? Is anybody following along on the puzzle? I think this is going to be really, really neat to see what it looks like when it's done. Um, it's just going to be really exciting to see for me. All right, so let's pick our cards. So let's see. One. Move that out of the way. Two, three, four, five for this one. One, two, three, four, five for that one. And one, two, three, four, and five for this one. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Let me tell you, doing these little pieces is actually very challenging because, you know, you can't really do a big piece of art. So it's, it's kind of interesting to find out what you actually have to do. So let's start with number one for today. Let's see, we have use scraps to make a focal point or use fabric. I don't like that thing, um, that shining light. Um, or use fabric scraps to make a focal point. Add an envelope or a pocket. Use archival ink or distress ink. Use newspaper or music paper. And either warm colors or cool colors. So that's number one. All right, number two we've got... Uh, let's see, use three paper textures or three paint textures. That's going to be difficult. Use washi tape or paper strips. Finger paint or paint with a sponge. Write random words or use a coat, quote, and use a pencil or a pen. That one's going to be okay. We'll do that one. And then the third one we're going to do today is... Add freeform shapes or geometric shapes. Use bubble wrap or saran wrap. Draw with a non-dominant hands. Close your eyes and draw or, or close your eyes and draw. I don't like this one. <laughs> I should take this out of the deck. Um, use curved lines or dotted lines. And then doodle a border or stamp a border. border. Boy, I can't talk today. So let me go ahead. I'm going to start out with number one. Um, let me figure out what I'm going to do with this. This one I am going to go ahead and fast forward through because I've got, I'm going to do three of them. So I hope you guys enjoy and we'll chat at the end. Have fun.
Okay guys, so here we go. I did three of them today. Um, I was having fun playing around with them. I actually probably could have just kept going, but um, this is the third one I did. And I followed the prompts of, I used three paper textures. Now those paper textures, this one has bumps on it. I don't think you can really see it, but this one's got bumps on it. Of course, I've got this corduroy type paper and then I have a piece of braille paper right here. So those are the three textures that I used. Um, did a little finger painting. I used some washi tape. I used a pen and I wrote some random words. And this is what it turned out like. So here's one. Um, the other one I did, let's see, is this one. This one was really difficult to do. I think it was the colors I chose. So what I did on this one is I used saran wrap. That was a lot of fun. I'll probably be doing that again. Um, I would used some geometric shapes, which are basically um, circles. I drew with my non-dominant hand, and I drew some of those circles. Let me tell you, that's not easy. I used curved lines, and then I did a doodle border. So this one, eh, it's okay, but I wish I had chosen different colors. So there's that. And then this is the first one that I did. This one I thought was kind of cute. Um, this one is either warm or cool colors. I used my cool colors. Then I had either newspaper or music paper. I used some music paper. I used Distress Oxide, um, but a Distress ink. I did not use Archival. Um, I added an envelope. A dear sweet friend of mine um, had cut out, she has a die, and she cut out all these little envelopes. And they are so cute, so that's what I used. And then I used scraps to make a fo focal point, and all I had was a little tiny piece of orange paper and some green paper and just made a little bundle of flowers. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these. Um, I really can't wait. I hope somebody is playing along with me because this is going to be really awesome to see what it looks like put together. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll chat with you soon. Bye!